Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and in this video we are going to be installing TensorRT for Stable Diffusion. It's a new extension in the bleeding edge of technology with Stable Diffusion. This would be ideal for a large project like a movie or book or a web app that services a large user base. You can produce images super fast but because this is in early development you can't use ControlNet or LoRas but you can use textual inversion. But it's okay, in the next video I will show you a better implementation of TensorT while we wait for automatic to iron out the rough edges. Let's start by installing this thing. So we are going to copy this, the git thing, and move into the extension folder in, in Stable Diffusion, come into, into the address bar and just write cmd here. Okay, so now you're just going to do git clone and paste the address from the stable thing extension and now in here in here you're just gonna go back in stable diffusion in here and in the stable diffusion folder you're just gonna press cmd and let's switch into the dev branch to use this thing so you're just gonna write git checkout dev Let's download that. Let's da download the TensorRT for from NVIDIA. I already did that, so I just want to copy it from my downloads. I'm going to put this file, cut it, and go into a stable diffusion in, in here, but to extensions into a new TensorRT thing and in here I just want to paste this file the TensorRT stuff and you need to have this hierarchy here and just unzip the file in here okay so this TensorRT has to live inside the TensorRT extension Okay, so you're gonna have to have the scripts and the TensorRT here so it will read the file. And now back into this thing that we were using. It's gonna launch the web UI, web, web UI user, I think it is. Yes, web UI user dot bad. You just run that and it will start the web UI. Everything is up to date because I got a git pull in my, in my file. And once Stable Diffusion launches, you're going to have the TensorRT script extension in there. Okay, next we need to go into Stable Diffusion and make sure that we disable all the extensions. And you can do this by going into Disable Extensions all in here and you will select all the extensions and disable them, okay? You can also do it manually by unchecking them. Okay, awesome, so now we are going to restart the web UI. Okay, cool, so the next time you open Stable Diffusion, you will have the TensorRT here, and we need to convert them all to Onyx first. And that will be this mode that you have selected here. I want to convert rep animated B122 without buy. And also you could add in the settings, you can come into extra networks and add a LoRa in here. So you can bake a LoRa thing. But I just want to do this without LoRa so to avoid any failures or anything. So I just going to convert it now. And if we go in here, we'll see that it's starting. Okay, and it finished here in 1 minute 42 seconds. It's there, and it says level error, may, but it has no warnings and no errors, Xformers done. Cool, so we're going to move into the next one. Hopefully this will work. And in here, I just want to go into my models. And I just gonna copy this pad with the name and I'm gonna paste it here. 
right? So because this is a 1.5 mold, I just want to leave everything in 512. And in here, I just want to put the batch size up to 6, up to 4. Normally, I don't use 6. So I'm just going to leave it up to 4 because that's what I use. And in here, I'm going to put 300 for the maximum tokens. And in here, I'm just going to convert Onyx to TensorRT. Or you can also show the commands here, and this will put the commands in there. As you can see, you can do them by closing this. You can run this into the command line. But right now, I'm just going to convert it here. Okay, so this thing is starting. I'm just going to pause my recording because this is computer intensive and I'm just going to leave it for later. Okay, so now we are here with the mold has finished and successfully converted into TensorRT. Okay, as we can see here, it took 31 minutes and 20 seconds to convert the whole mold. And now we will have it here in the molds unit TRT and here it is. Okay, that took a while to convert, like half an hour, but right now I just want to print some images to check the speed of the old stable diffusion against the new TensorRT. So here we're going to change the sample to UniPC because also the TensorRT don't take all samplers, some samplers only. And I'm going to choose eight, eight images in batch count. And I don't going to even do batch size, which are different. I'm just going to do batch count. And I'm going to use 20 steps and this stable diffusion textual inversion called Silva Magic. I'm going to use a textual inversion to compare with textual inversions also in, in TensorRT because we cannot use LoRa's there. And let's generate some images. Okay, perfect. So it takes about eight seconds to make, not eight seconds, it takes about two, two seconds to make an image, but it's about eight iterations, eight, iter 8.7, I will say, almost nine. Apart from the first one, the first one is always slower, especially with the SDP attention that we got from Torque 2.0. And now these are my speeds in the all without TensorRT, okay? And now we are going to test with TensorRT by moving the thing into TensorRT. I had to take out the mole. The mole is now here and I put it on UNET TRT, which is where it normally goes once you finish your baking and stuff. You bake your mole and it will be in there. And now I need to refresh the extensions to pick up the linking stuff. You need to restart the UI. So I will see that this process is worth it if you are like in making some images for a book or something that it will take a lot of images. It might be a good idea to install this thing. But I'm like optimistic for the future when this thing picks up and you can make different sizes and you can use LoRa's and everything that's like probably in a month or two month time, perhaps three months. <laughs> but I was using something before called L Smith that it was doing different sizes. I don't know why this one doesn't do it. And that was almost at the beginning of the year. I'm going to show you how to install it in the next tutorial if you if you like this video, then I'll show you how to install that one. But I show you anyway this thing anyway. And now it's called Riata or Radiata. Yeah, Radiata. Before it was called L Smith. They were using AI template, which is this sort of UI thing. Now they call it Volta ML. I'm gonna show you in my next video how to install these things because I think at least the Radiata one can use Deep Floyd and I'm really tempted to, to install Deep Floyd because it's like the future now. Okay. So let's go back and test the speed before I finish the video. We have here the same prompt that we had before, the same settings. 
And now we're doing it. We're gonna do an eight bat count. Not doing bad sizes because I'm sure that it has, has some troubles. Even that I baked my mold with four bad size, I know that it's getting trolls. And you know here that it's using the TRT rev animated B1.2. And you see it's a lot it's a lot faster, I will say almost twice. 15, 14, yeah, 15. And before it was about 9, it's almost twice the speed. Same quality. This thing is not getting too good because I probably have like the buy there. Not really doing much. Let's see. Yeah. So these are the results. All the images came like quite bad maybe because the, I need to turn down the the Silvana style magic thing I hope you like the video I, it's like the bleeding edge of technology here with the stable diffusion this thing is it's not too difficult to install but I think next time when I show you Volta ML you're gonna like a lot better that one and thank you for watching bye bye mm -hmm.